Her fate is yet uncertain. Together, we shall be Azeroth's protectors once again. Here, the new age of dragons shall begin. this have to do with me? Were it not for them, your people would not be. 
from these proto-dragons, there arose the monster, Galakrond. Whose insatiable hunger would have consumed us all. When the fate of our kind was at stake, we five overcame the instincts of fear and self-preservation and united to battle the Leviathan. We? So, you were one of these. bravery, risking everything to save the world, we were granted a gift of the Titans, transformed into something greater. Together, we became the Aspects, leaders of the Dragon Flights. The Protectors of Azeroth. In time, we took on visages like this to better commune with the younger races. Why have you shown me this? I am Nosdormu. I was Aspect of the Bronze Flight. It is my fate to see all of time. But now a threat to our world approaches. An ancient enemy has returned. You will play a part in the events to come, and you will have to make a difficult choice, as we did. I am not like you. No. My story is already written. But yours, and that of all Drakthir, is only beginning to unfold. Tell us to the fore! On the flight, move! Yeah. Heaven scale, fall back! Fresh. Can you bring down this barrier? Zuri! Just the reinforcements I needed! Have you found the Earth Warder? No. He is not in this chamber. But there is a. A different dragon. Come forth, loyal servants of Malagos! Show no mercy to these aberrations! Well, this should be fun! Speak of unleashing a storm. 
The threat is greater than you know, young ones. We fear these primalists seek to release something ancient. Something terrible. Why should we trust you? Were you sent by the Earth Warder? Where is Naltharian? Naltharian? It seems there is much you do not know. I am Abyssian, and this is Rathian. We will answer all your questions in time. But we must join forces and strike now, or the enemy will prevail. This is our home. The Drakthir will defend it. We will fight beside you, but you do not give the orders here, dragons. So be it. Fine. But do try not to get in our way. After all, I know a thing or two about vanquishing ancient adversaries. Go! Tell them we will scour this world of the Titan Stay! Let the storm be the harbinger of our return! Pawns of Neltharion! Your master is dead, and you have been abandoned! <laughs> the Earth Warder, dead. Then we stand alone. I do not trust the words of an enemy. Rathian and Abyssian owe us answers. <clears throat> Evoker, get that dragon back on his feet! You have my thanks, Drakthir. Now please, find... Tell us, dragon. Did the Incarnate speak the truth? Is Neltharion dead? The Neltharion you knew fell long, long ago. It is a... complicated tale. Our legacy... lost. that remains of Neltharion's flight! Pathetic! Thank you. That should... be... enough! I thought I would be the one saving you. Drakthir... are formidable indeed. Nosdormo! Behold! The Bronze Aspect has come! Children of Neltharion, hearken to me. Your time does not end today. I refuse to bow to another aspect. Rezegath! Ah, Nosdormu! I am pleased that not all of the aspects have met a bitter end. Not yet. Tell your queen. I am coming for her. The storm's reckoning comes for you all! The release of Razageth heralds great danger for this world, just as your awakening heralds great change. The kingdoms of Azeroth must be warned. Go to them. Along the way, you may discover a new destiny of your own. Dark Talons, fall in! We have to leave the Reach. Lead the way, Abyssian. The warders will follow Rath. Children of Neltharion, you have awakened to face a shattered past and an uncertain future. Yet the threads of fate weave a new path to distant shores.
the sands of time will speed your wings along the way. Tell the world of what you have witnessed, and warn them of the storm to come. Behold, Stormwind, capital of the human kingdom and crown jewel of the Alliance. Ruled by a dear, dear friend who is, sadly, absent. Impressive walls. This city could withstand attack by a formidable adversary. Perhaps even a dragon. You have no idea. Now then, to make a proper entrance, pardon me while I assume a more recognizable form. Ah, uh, yes. The Earth Warder, too, had a visage. So these humans know you? Indeed. I have no doubt they will welcome me with open arms. Rathion, you were warned against making unannounced visits, especially when you bring company. A thousand pardons, my dear Spymaster, but I come bearing the tidings of the Dragon Aspects for Lord Commander Torellian. As for the Drakthir, you have my word that they will cause no harm. They have come seeking refuge, not conflict. Their conduct will be on your head, Rathion. The Drakthir have my leave to roam the city. But know this, SI-7 will be watching. Let them pass! I am pleased that you have accepted our invitation to the Dragon Isles, Lord Commander. During the dark days of the Cataclysm, the Aspects made great sacrifices to save our world. The Alliance will answer the call and stand together with Dragonkind once again. Alexstrasza shall be most appreciative. Though, she will insist that you do not bring any lingering conflicts to her shores. You have my word that this will be an expedition, not a military maneuver. To honor our truce with the Horde, I have instructed the Explorers League to work in concert with the Reliquary. Just think of all the ancient knowledge we can discover together! The Dragon Isles is our home, not a place for outsiders to plunder. The Draxir will accompany the Alliance on this journey, but it will take time to build trust between us. <laughs> as a fellow soldier, I share your wariness, Azurathel. Splendid! You two have found common ground already. Now then, let us begin preparations for our voyage. The Dragon Isles await. The Aspects will be pleased that the Council has accepted their invitation. The Dragon Isles hold great wonders and many perils. Those who answer the call will face whatever challenges may come. The strength of the Horde has always been its people. I am heartened to hear it, but Know that the Dragon Queen will not abide conflict on her shores. The Horde honors its truce with the Alliance. To that end, the Reliquary will work together with the Explorers League on an expedition of discovery. I expect we will learn much from one another. Do not forget, Ibisian, that the Dragon Isles are home to the Drakthir as well. We intend to rediscover our past, and lay claim to our future. Then let our peoples make this journey together, Sindrathresh. Agreed. Along the way, we can hone your combat skills, despite your obvious lack of wings. I see there is much work ahead of us. Come then, the Dragon Isles await.
I did not expect to see you again so soon, my friend. After you'd answered the call of the Isles. Something has happened, Khadkar. Something terrible. Galakos, tell me. It all happened so quickly. And Rathian, young as he is, bravely or perhaps foolishly tried to stop it. But he was too late. The Tempest had already been unleashed. She let me live with a message. They are coming to cleanse the world of the Titan's stain. Alexstrasza, who is she? What is she? She is Razageth, youngest of the primal incarnates. Incarnates? For dangerous adherents of the elemental forces. At the dawn of the Aspects, our flights embraced the Titan's gifts. They did not. The war that followed was unimaginable, and it took all of our strength combined to banish them. If they were so dangerous, why were they not destroyed? I hadn't the heart to do it. We were once as clutchmates. Time, it seems, has not quelled their fury. And look at us. Should she free her kin now, we haven't the strength to stop them. And if Iridicrum's hunger is unleashed... Then we have no choice. If we are to be protectors once more, the aspects of our Dragonflights must be made anew. A storm. Rousegath, enough! We need not fight another war. There is still time to see reason. Time is precisely what you stole from me. Thousands of years rotting in that prison. I failed then to restore peace between us. Too many paid for that. Spare me your sanctimony. You forced the Titans' edict upon us all! You betrayed the world that gave us life! And when we dared resist, you cast us out! Upon us, the insult 
of being forgotten. I want her to watch helplessly as everything she built comes crumbling down. Only then will she meet a fitting end. Rathian, you have my gratitude. Your aid was unexpected, but appreciated. It was an honor to stand with you, my queen. I trust your flight will now assist us in claiming the Obsidian Citadel from the Jaredin. Of course we will, after we see to the safety of the eggs. Surely they are secure now that Razagath has been driven away. Oh, you do not know her as I do, young one. She is an unpredictable foe. For now, we must remain at the life pools and safeguard our future. Our future? Or yours? The Obsidian Citadel was built to defend all of the Dragon Isles. You cannot abandon the legacy of my flight to the hands of our enemies. I would have expected you to care more for the protection of helpless eggs, Rathian. Stay then. Tend to what matters most to your flight, and I will save what matters most to mine. The convoy yielded enough eggs to begin. Go now. Infuse them with the elements. Wash away the stain of order. Work quickly. Outsiders have come ashore. We cannot let them interfere. But what brings you here so urgently? What has happened to this egg? The energies that surround it are... This is dire. If the egg can be saved, it will be here, within the sacred waters of the life pools. Once the young of Dragonkind filled this vibrant place. And the Ruby Oathstone, the very symbol of our calling, cast its bright glow high into the air for all to see. Now it lies dormant, as do all the Oathstones. I suspect they fell quiet when we relinquished our aspectral power. There are so many things we left behind. But now that we have come home, we can fulfill the callings of our flights and renew the five Oath Stones. And through their unity, our absent power shall be restored. Emberthal. A commander of the Drakthir. You know of us. You are a race of fierce warriors, unlike anything Azeroth has seen in many an age. In time, you may become as mighty as we once were. Once? What happened? The desire for power carries peril. We were blind to the darkness in our midst. Dragon Isles. In the time after our ascension, we Aspects sought to create a beacon of hope for all the world. Beautiful. Notharian, my general. Indeed, we all had our roles to play. Guided by Alex Straza, our conscience 
our heart. We all became as close as clutchmates, or so it seemed. For we could not hear the whispers of corruption that tempted one of our own. When demons invaded our world, we aspects went forth to protect it as we always had. Not knowing whether we would ever again see the shores of home. Our brother Naltharion led our defense against the invaders. But for the first time, we found our strength inadequate. And we grew desperate. So when Naltharion assured us that with our help he could forge a weapon to win the war, we placed our trust in him. And we renewed our battle against the demons, only to have Naltharion, who now took the name Deathwing, turn on his own kind. foresee this betrayal, for we simply did not want to believe. Even after all this time, the pain of his treachery is far worse than the scars he left us with. That is not the leader I remember. How do I know it was not you who provoked him? You missed much during your confinement, but the sands of time Reveal all truths, child, even bitter ones. Trust your eyes. When the champions of Azeroth faced Deathwing for the last time, he was so consumed by madness that he could not imagine what we would sacrifice to stop him that the weapon we had helped him forge would become the means of his destruction. Was there no other way? Deathwing would have destroyed this world. To stop him, we aspects relinquished our power. Our immortality, our guardianship of Azeroth itself. A fair trade, I believe. You want something from me, don't you? It is my gift and my burden to travel the pathways of time. But there is one crucial moment that has long remained hidden from me. And only you can lead me there. A Titan artifact? That must be the source of your unity. This was an ancient magic that bound you to his will. Would you not sacrifice yourselves at his whim? We were soldiers. There were many threats to the world. And here was the greatest. The Primalists. That is Razageth, the Storm Eater. One of the leaders of the Primalist Rebellion. He struck without warning, without honor, and I lost many friends this day. We fell back, regrouped. Then, everything became jumbled, confused. The artifact destroyed, and the order magic which had united the Drakthir was dispelled. How then was Razageth defeated? So, brother, this is what you hid from us the moment you fell from grace. 
In his desperation, he turned to the deepest evil, the power of the old gods. If only we had known. But then, why were we imprisoned? Why did we sleep for so long? If he could no longer control the Drakthir, he would have deemed you a risk. No. We laid down our lives for him. He was proud of us. Why would he... Stop this sand! I cannot see! Because you do not want to. Yet you can only become more than you are if you confront your past. away. Forgot we even existed. It would have been kinder to simply destroy us. I am sorry, my young friend. We had to know the truth. But do not despair. I now believe that Neltharion locked you away because of what you might become. What we might achieve free of his control. And now, you are free. This world has much to offer, and you will have a part to play in the events to come. You spoke of an ancient enemy's return. It is Razageth and the Primalists. That is why we were awakened. It seems that Neltharion yet had a purpose for you, but he is gone. You must decide which path you will take, which story you will tell. My story will be my own. Sibelian, heir of Neltharion. And you are? Rathian, heir of Neltharion. And I've never heard of you. Likewise. We'll discuss this later. Years of searching, and there it stands. My legacy. Once you've finished your assessment, we'll begin the assault. Something is wrong here. This cannot be. The stone is cracked? Father broke his oath. And with that, the stone broke as well. We must repair it!
Young Rathian, I owe you my thanks. Your help was invaluable in securing my rightful place on the Obsidian Throne. Oh, uh, I believe you're mistaken. This throne, this legacy, is my birthright. Ah, <sighs> no. The mistake is yours. I was anointed caretaker of this flight by Neltherian himself. So let me be clear. When all is said and done, I will be the aspect of the Black Dragon Flight. Is that so? <laughs> May the worthiest dragon win. Rathion's able to make the hard choices, the ones that no one else will. All for the greater good. Setting Garrosh free started a war, but we needed that war to prepare for the Legion. Where an aspect failed, Sabellian succeeded. Despite Deathwing's madness, despite the rage of the Gron, Sabellian and his kin survived, allowing us to achieve this moment. Despite some questionable methods, it is hard to deny Rathian's results. He has worked tirelessly to protect all creatures of Azeroth from numerous threats. Sibelian rallied us on Outland, not only saving us from death, but from the corruption that befell our kin. All the rest, the other flights, glory-starved mortals, even that pretentious prince chose to murder the afflicted rather than aid us. They must be balanced, strong, and of pure metal. Though I like Rathian, he is untempered. Sabellian has been forged in fire. I believe he is what we need in a leader. You see... He does what needs to be done. Honor and glory didn't help defeat the Shah, or rid the world of mad dragons. Rathian did. Stay close, champion. We cannot afford for anything to happen to the wagon or its contents. This is getting ridiculous! How many random encounters must we suffer before you realize your ruse has failed? Let us take wing and be done with it! Oh, cease your fidgeting! If anything is putting us at risk of discovery, it is your childish impatience. Finally! I was worried the eggs would hatch before reaching the life pools. <sighs> Titans, give me patience. Your kind ends today, puppets! Is this the leadership you offer our people? Perhaps the others will see reason now. Whelps these days. Meet me at the life pools proper, champion. This is far from over. What is the meaning of this, Sibelian? Where are the eggs? Yes, why don't you explain how your ridiculous plan destroyed the future of an entire flight? Ah, I apologize for any misunderstandings, Lifebinder. But any report of our extinction is premature. The eggs were never in danger. The cart and my presence were merely to draw the attention of our foes and allow my clutch to move unobserved. I have spent millennia rebuilding my flight. As Neltherian's heir, I pledge it and myself to you. What are you- These eggs are most welcome here, Sibelian. But your part in your father's twisted legacy has earned you no such privilege. I will ensure the eggs are cared for, but I will not be involved in your bickering. That is for the black, not the red, to decide. At long last, our absent young are once more among us, so that they can be raised together with all the flights. Though these life pools were once bereft of eggs, they now contain our future. Truly, the calling of my flight has been fulfilled. I will see that these eggs are protected and loved. 
so that they may hatch into dragons, strong and wise. Stones have been renewed. Three more are needed if we are to have any hope of reclaiming our aspectral power and stopping Razageth. Take this life bloom with you as a sign of good faith to the centaur. Its healing qualities will serve them well. Not Even a young hunter can aid in a proto drake hunt. Let us see what you've got, outsider. You are both strangers here. The Maruk, too, have been plagued by these primalists. If Onora wills it, I will blow the horn of Dressal on the morrow to signal our accord with the Green Dragonflight. Marithra, daughter of Ysera, is grateful for your... Grateful? Ha! Huh. Dragons only respect dragons. No Maruk blood will be spilled for them. You are not the Kanematra, Balakar. A true leader would never surrender this land to outsiders. You desecrate the memory of Maruk Thousand Bones, Serist. Stand down. No. These planes belong to the Maruk. And Marukai belongs to the Nakud! What passes for a mystic of the Maruk? Oh, Nara! I am sorry. Pathetic. Onward. The Emerald Gardens will fall! We mean you no harm. The death of your brethren saddens our hearts as much as the death of our own kind. Balakar did this. Balakar and his clan the Nokud. They have shown their weakness and their cowardice by working with the Primalists. We hope to resolve our civil war, but now I see there is only one path forward. We must vanquish them. Three clans stand with you, daughter of the dream. Tirai, Shikar, Onir. We must join you to repel the warmongers from our land. I accept your offer to stand with us, Kanamatra. My kin's sacrifice will not be forgotten. We fight together. Shortly after we returned to our ancient grove to the west, the Primalists attacked. We destroyed them time and again, 
the Primalists knew they needed the Centaur on their side to defeat us. Clan Nokud's Dragon Killer Ballista is the key to their victory. The Nokud are relentless. With their help, Coraleth's Primalist army has found a way to break our defenses. The barrier to the ancient bow must not fall. Within it lies our portal to the Emerald Dream. A shudder to think what they wish to do to it. Our sanctuary lies ahead. Meet me there. We will rally the remainder of our forces. With this blessing, my people will know that you speak with my voice. Now go, quickly. See those stone pillars? They are part of a barrier that keeps anyone from approaching. We must protect them, or the island's defenses will fall. Do you see? Those pylons empower Coralette's destructive power. If we cannot stop her, she will destroy the pillar and the ward that protects the ancient bow will fall. I will not be defeated! Give me your strength, beast! You've accomplished nothing. Once I've dealt with you, nothing will stand between us and the dream. No, I have failed. The dream must... Be ours. My purpose here is fulfilled. Let us meet again soon. Come, little one. The Primalists have been dealt with. Our forces will make quick work of any foolish enough to linger. Without our allies, we could not have achieved this victory. Marithra is summoning their leaders to an audience. She asked for you as well, my friend. It is a deed of kindness and sacrifice my people will not soon forget. Against hatred and chaos, the greatest weapon we wield is fellowship. So come, friends. Join me under the ancient bow. From the mystics who commune with the wind, her lightest touch, a lift. From the descendants of the matriarch, a drop of unbroken progeny, an ancient line, unforgotten. This spear is proof of your skill. I accept this offering. All Ohuna are the offspring of Onara. This feather should suffice. Remember Tira well. You are so much like her. I accept your offering. I, the Kanamatra Serist, accept this gift to honor the ancient oath made by our most sacred ancestor. All centaur under Onara's wings will aid the green dragon flight in times of need. And I, Marithra, daughter of Isera, accept this gift to honor my oath to your ancestor Tira. Together, dragons and centaur will protect the Onaran Plains. Should the dream be threatened again, know that the Maruk will fight beside you. The bond that united us in ages past has been renewed. Let this oath stone serve as a symbol of our covenant. I vow to protect the Emerald Dream and the Green Dragonflight with my life.
I was expecting Malagos. Where is he? And who are you? Caligos. And you... you cannot possibly be... Sindragosa? In a way, a simulacrum created by her in order to preserve her memories and knowledge. It would seem a great deal of time has passed since she left. Yes, and much has happened. I sense... an aspect. It's a long story. Both you and Malagos are gone. I see. And the rest of our flight? Where are they? Tell me. After Neltharion betrayed us, we were on the verge of extinction. We few who remain are scattered. Aimless and alone. Yet you came here. That tells me that you still have hope for our kin. Child of my flight. Shall we work together to make that hope a reality? <sighs> Nothing would give me more pleasure. What must we do? Child, you are staring at me instead of departing. Do you have more to say? I apologize. I have heard many legends of you. My mind is swimming with questions to ask. As is mine. Ten thousand years is an incalculable amount of time to miss. My dear, I would ask you to apprise me of what I've missed once this mess is settled. Of course. There is so much to tell. The Cataclysm, the Scourge, the other aspects, the Nexus Wars. Child of my flight. Ah, right. I shall return with hopeful news. And I shall aid you in becoming the proper aspect of the Blue Dragonflight. I'm sorry for the delay. I'll join you soon. But I think these Tuskar may have some valuable information. There's no need for concern. Everything is calm up at the tower. I have it perfectly under control. What a charming town. Why don't you relax a bit? Take it easy for once, Kelly. I... Yes. It's been a while. Please, uh, let me know the moment you need anything. I won't be long. Let's have a look at these maps. Tukanit. Could you please ensure our guest gets a bowl of soup? Look how thin you are. Some eel gut soup will get some much needed blubber on those bones. S -s some uh, what? That's old Pono's favorite tea. Hopefully, he shares some with Karkut on the journey. Chieftain Poloniak carved that for my son, Nomurok. My son fell in Brackenhide, so it seems only right this should return to the sea with its maker. Chief Poloniak was a great fighter. He once took a blow from a charging Bruffalon for me. That would have killed a lesser man. You treasured us all. May the seas find you as worthy as we do. Look! Himself has chosen Pinolia. What a life! I, I, 
Forgive me. I don't understand. How can you find such joy in the passing of family? It is not that we are not sad for his passing, Kalik, but in celebrating his life, he shall remain with us forever. What better way to strengthen the bonds of the family that remains than celebrating all who came before? Thank you, Brenna, and everyone. I have learned more than I imagined in my short time in your company. Despite tragedy, you all remain kind and resolute because of your community, because of family. The power the Blue Dragonflight is missing is not ley lines or ancient artifacts. It's family. I must go to them. But if you ever have need of me, simply call. I will hear you, and I'll come as swiftly as my wings can carry me. It is time for the Blue Dragons to once more be the guardians of this land. I... I see. Hmm. Huh. You could have said something about being a dragon from the beginning. Seems an important detail to leave out. Well, you'd best be back any time you need a good meal. There will always be a warm bowl of soup for you here, Kalik. I look forward to it. Take care, Brenna, Noruk, everyone. I hope that worked. I need my flight. We will see in due time. What's happened? The Primalists are on the move. It seems we did far too well at stymieing their efforts at Vakthros. Razageth has renewed the attack herself. If Vakthros falls, the whole of the Azure Spam will fall with it. Quickly then, we must stop her before all is lost. Hopefully, we won't have to face her alone. She has made her choice. I understand. No, you do not. You have a kind soul. I know you hesitate at the thought of fighting any more of your own kind. I showed too much mercy once. Twice. Many times. Before long, it was too late. You speak of Neltharion's betrayal. Do not make my mistake, young one. There can be no mercy without justice. Remember that. Thank you, Sindragosa. I will. I hope you truly do, my dear. Queen! 
Sindragosa is awaiting our return, and we should be able to reclaim the Oath Stone. Sindragosa? She has returned from the grave. I'll explain on the way. Let's go. And I thought I had seen it all in my old age. Tell me, what have you learned, child of my flight? What is your oath? We've been scattered for far too long. Isolated. But a dragon flight is more than an oath we make. We are a family. And it's time I brought my family home. I do believe you are ready, Caligos. Secured the Azure Archives, but Razageth's storm remains enveloped around Vakthros Tower. She seeks to free her kin, but their prison does not lie within the Azure span. What else could she be after? My vision remains clouded. The Primalists could already be moving in our midst. And I fear I would not see it. The city must be protected. Veldraken is our people's home. If the Primalists are here, we must find them and flush them out. They cannot be allowed to infiltrate our seat of power. Over there. Your guards did not join our ranks as expected, Aranog. I am not concerned. Dead soldiers cannot get in your way. I see you have unearthed the Flamestone. I can sense its strength. It is now time for your end of this bargain. from the leash of the Aspects! <laughs> then go, while I turn this wretched, titan-stained place into ashes! Oh dear, it backfired. Uh, uh, brace yourself. After years of imprisonment within the Emerald Nightmare, Arc Druid Malfurion Stormrage has finally returned to the mortal world. Reunited with his love, Tyranda Whisperwind, Malfurion endeavors now to heal the corrupted world tree Teldrassil and rejuvenate the spirit of the Night Elf people. Yet as the great cataclysm shakes the boughs of their colossal tree, the Night Elves brace themselves against the coming storm. As war and destruction close in from all sides, it falls to night elves like you to stand strong and protect the enduring legacy of your people. Ah, oh, there you are. This happens sometimes. We must return to the present, however. Really, we must be going. We are going back. Okay, everyone. Get ready!
vision came too late. They have punched a tunnel through time and are tumbling endlessly amongst the infinite possibilities. You must find them and correct their course before the entire fabric of reality is torn asunder. Andante Normu, you shall hold the second portal open. It is a strange place. I imagine you will find it fascinating. I will go at once, my lord. Where are we? The war of the shifting sands. Take care to avoid the combatants. What you were, you will die. I read about this. Those Mogu were vicious. Zera. Ah, uh, authoritarian regime to the curb. You betray your friends. Um, where are we? Is this even Azeroth? It is Azeroth, though an exceptionally long time ago. We should find Chromie and get out of here. This place is scary. <laughs> so, this is far in the past, right? Yes. From before the Titans found Azeroth, this is when the Elemental Lords made war on the Black Empire of the Old Gods. Trust is weakness. The dark waters will flow in his way. You betray your friends. Your friend. I am also relieved not to be stuck with you for an eternity. Huff. Almost done. We'll be back soon. Brace yourselves. Expect clemency for what has transpired. My fate is inevitable. What do you mean? Each day that passes, the future flows into the present, which blurs into the past. Soon, it will merge into one, and that is when I will become my darkest self, Murazond. 
And when that day comes to pass, I look to you to do what must be done. Yes, Timeless One. I will do exactly what you need me to. I will find another way. There is none. Time encompasses all possibilities. You taught me that. I will search every timeline, every moment, until I find a solution to save you. Chronormo, in all timelines, please know, I am and always have been proud of you. I owe you my thanks. You have helped the Dragonflights remember our calling. With the Oath Stones renewed, we can finally reclaim our Aspectral power. This has to work. Nothing? But the Oath Stones were renewed. How is this possible? <laughs> it seems your titans have abandoned you. Razagav! What have you done? You proved yourself unworthy. All on your own. Queen of the Dragons. Now, it is our time. Is done. We stopped her. No. The damage is too great. They're about to... Sister. What have they done to you? Her death. Demands vengeance. All who betrayed Dragonkind to the Titans will face our world. Kadgar, we cannot win this fight. We have to get out of here! My friends... We sensed a great upheaval beneath the earth, and feared the worst. We barely survived. Razageth is dead, but... Her kin have been freed. Oh... Nazdormu? What is it? The timeways. They are chaotic, but still obscured. A dark future looms on the horizon. We haven't long to prepare for their onslaught. Razagath's reckless haste cost her life, and they will not make that mistake again. They will regain their strength and choose their next moment carefully. Then we must take the fight to them. Strike before they are recovered. That will be difficult. Eridicron's mastery of the Earth will harbor them and keep them out of our reach. What is it about this Erythocron that vexes you so? Of the three that remain, Viranoth and Farak were ever loyal to the Incarnate's ideals, but it was Erythocron who truly embraced the war. The last captured and the most difficult to contain. At the end, 
He struck terrible bargains to keep their cause alive. His violent desperation makes him dangerous. I believe the other incarnates never knew the true depths of his depravity. We must not despair. Their war is coming. And while we may not yet have our spectral powers, we can rebuild our unity. Heal the wounded flights. Embrace our allies. Only together do we stand any chance of victory. <laughs> together. Together. This gift from Tyr is precious to us. A final remembrance of a treasured friend. His deeds and his courage will never be forgotten. You have told me stories of that time, but I've never seen the relic he gave you. We kept it in a place of honor here in Valdraken. An ingot of pure silver, forged in the shape of a dragon scale. Beautiful. Tell me, has it always pulsed with such potent magic? No. Something about it is different. The scale seems to have changed in our absence. Perhaps our return to the Dragon Isles has awakened it. Tyr was full of mysteries. This may be one last enigma for us to investigate. An old memory of a beloved friend. Let us hope it has wisdom to impart. My friends, I am leaving on a journey. One that may keep me away for some time. Before I depart, I have something I wish to leave in your care. To symbolize our bond, I present you with this scale forged of purest silver. A thoughtful gift, though its enchantments obscure my vision as to its true nature. Perceptive as always, timeless one, but do not be troubled. You know my fondness for mysteries. I suspect that this scale has a deeper meaning. That you are leaving it with us, because your journey will place you in grave peril. Tell us what danger lies ahead of you, Tyr. We would gladly face it at your side. Where I go, you cannot follow. There is sacred knowledge that can only be safeguarded by myself and my fellow Keepers. Your place is here. You must prepare your flights for the great destiny that lies before them. I am sorry, my friends. I wish I had more time with you, but I must go. Remember, the Silver Scale will reveal its value in a time of need. Be well. There is much about our history that I do not know. I can feel the Scale still pulsing with magic. Whatever tear left for us is powerful indeed. Though the Bronze Flight is able to experience all points in time, we occasionally forget that it can be pleasant to linger on certain moments. I do miss him. Although he is no longer with us, his legacy will always live on within our flights. I hope you would be proud of everything we have accomplished. To know that despite the hardships we have faced, Dragonkind thrives. It seems your words have awakened an ancient magic, Lifebinder. Keeper designation, Tear, Not found. Activating Silver Protocol. An echo of Tear. What wisdom has he left behind for us? If you are seeing this message, it means a time of great need is at hand. But I am no longer among you. Take the silver scale to my forge in Tyrold, and more shall be revealed. Mysteries within mysteries. Hmm. <laughs> Tyr always had a plan.
This body looks exactly like the tear we knew, though it is but an empty vessel, bereft of the noble spirit that made him such a trusted friend. Tyr must have known he was going to his doom, so he left behind the silver scale as a catalyst to restore his physical form. A truth he kept veiled from my perceptions until a time when his wisdom would be needed. Tyr's allies hid a record of his memories in the depths of Ulduman. But before it could be recovered, agents of the Infinite Dragonflight cast the disk into the Timeways. What have we here? Alexstrasza's lapdogs, I suspect. I fear I will have to deny your queen her prize. The disc you seek will be mine. This disc may hold the secret to the aspects regaining their power, and we cannot allow that to happen. Now the disc is lost to time. Your efforts are impressive, but in vain. The timelines are converging. There will be only one aspect, and Murasan shall be infinite! We must locate that disc, or find another way to restore Tyr. The future of our flights may depend upon it. Champion! They are in the dream. And Carathus. He tricked me, and and I let him in. I have failed to protect that which I swore to keep safe. Come, there is something you both should know. This seed is everything. So many beloved souls entrusting their fate, their hopes, to us. Are we certain it will be safe? Come. Here, by Elune's grace, this gift will be kept hidden from those who would wish it harm. Yet the time will come when it must leave the cradle of the dream and take its place in our world. And when it does, its protection will fall to us. My beloved Kaldorai, all you have suffered, all you have given, will not be in vain. This I swear to you. What is it, my love? Just a feeling that this time will be different. A small hope remains. There is more than one way into the dream. 
Our way in life is closed. But from death... You mean the theory Gareth has had? Could we do it? Could we bring Isera back so she could vanquish them all? Yes. But the price will be great. Someone must take her place in Ardenweald. Then I should be the one to go. I will tell Isera. Perhaps I'll join my son in the realms of death. I will remain. And Somnicus, when you see my mother, tell her... Tell her that we will be ready when she returns. It is time. Let us stand before Isera and face whatever comes. If someone else is bound here in my place, yes. I could return to the dream and protect the gardens from the other side. But my dear old friend, you cannot take my place. You must wait a little longer before you rejoin your son. Sarah, your flight needs you. We need you. Whatever the price may be for your return to Azeroth, name it. Tyrande. Tell us. It's me. I must be the one to stay. What? Isera knows this, though she would never ask it of me. No. We will find another way. When she gave her life for mine in Balshara, it was not her time. And now, the balance may be restored. Then, then I will stay as well. Chandras and the others can... Tiranda. Should everything we hope come to pass, the Kaldorai will need you. I am so tired, Malfurion. Do not ask this of me. After everything we have endured. My love, you have always been the strength of our people. They will follow you ever onward, and you will never be alone. Until I see you again, I will dream of the night we may truly rest together. Somnicus, return to the gardens and inform my daughter. Once I have reached the dream there, we will open the way for the others. I will await your return. Then Rymek will pay for what he's done. My queen, the Emerald Dream and its ancient groves are under attack, and I must go to defend them. In my place, Malfurion Stormrage will stay and fulfill the bond that you used to save me. Will you accept me in exchange? Then your pledge is made. Go with the blessings of the wilds. The cycle is renewed. Death and life in harmony once more. We must fly with all haste to Lunadane. That is the last line of defense where our enemy's fate will be sealed. Let him go. 
Only he can absolve his anger now. We each have our own part and our own power. The ancient defense at Lunadine is all that stands between Rymek and the World Tree. And it will be his undoing. But only the Dreamer can unleash its full potential. Then we must get you there at once. No. It is clear that I am no longer connected to the Dream as I was. Someone new must rise. It is done. Now we must see to healing the Dream. It is time, Marithra. Step out from the shadow of my wings, and spread your own. It has always been you. I'm not ready for this. Few ever think they are, when their time comes. Go, my daughter. It is not mine to want or to take back. In my stead, you have grown as a leader, and I am proud of you. You are the leader of the Green Dragonflight, and when we regain our full power, you will be the Aspect. Then I accept. But first, I would very much like it if we could fly together again. Let us take to the skies together. I never thought I would see her fly over the gardens again. I thought this would rightfully be my end. There's a fair amount to look forward to now. Yes, there is. I thought you should know. Rathion asked if there's been any word from... Anduin? He asked me the same question. Though their friendship has been strained, I know the King considers Rathion an ally. Several years have passed since Azeroth's heroes returned from the realms of death. In that time, I've followed up on countless leads. Reports that the King was sighted here or there, none of them have been proven true. I do not think that we will find Anduin until he wishes to be found. That may take some time. Teralion is popular with the nobles, and he's a natural leader to our soldiers. But the people of Stormwind miss their king. The best thing that any of us can do is to give Anduin the time he needs, and to be here for him whenever he comes home. Spymaster Shaw, it seems the dragons are among us once again. Yes, Lord Commander. We haven't seen this level of draconic activity since the Cataclysm. I've read the SI-7 reports on the Black Dragon Onyxia, how she infiltrated Stormwind in the guise of a noble and sowed division and chaos. Indeed. She masterminded an elaborate scheme to seize control of the throne. The Dragon Queen Alexstrasza's intentions appear honorable, but can we be certain that the same is true for all of Dragonkind? It is wise to be cautious. I'll order extra security patrols. We need more than spies and guards on the city walls. Enlist the expertise of our mages. I want a foolproof method to see through those visages the dragons wear. We've put too much effort into rebuilding the strength of the Alliance to see it undone. I don't want any surprises. Am I clear, Spymaster? As Crystal, Lord Commander Turalyon. So it was Naltharion who gave
gave the final order that sent us back to our crashes. And bid his ally Malagos to weave a spell that would put us to sleep under the guard of his blue dragons. Where we remained, abandoned and forgotten, awakened only when the Primalists returned to break Razageth free. Did... Did you ask Nostormu how long we slept? Nearly 20,000 years. While we slumbered, the kingdom of dragons rose and fell. The world was sundered. And the Aspects surrendered their power to stop Nell. To stop Deathwing. Then our mission is clear. Whether back on the Dragon Isles, or elsewhere in the lands of Azeroth, the Drakthir must find where we belong. Are you troubled by the news that the dragons bring? No. But seeing both the Horde and Alliance answer their call has reminded me of absent friends. I am sorry. I know what Anduin Rin means to you. Has there been no word at all from him? King Greymane has been kind enough to answer my letters. He said there have been reports that Anduin has been seen, but none that they could verify. Anduin endured much in the Shadowlands. It seems he is not ready to go home. Not yet. The Earth Mother guides each of us along a path. It is not always the one we wish to walk, but sometimes it is the path we need to. Be patient. Your friend will return when his feet guide him back to those who love him. Thank you for reminding me of that, Mela, and for your kindness. Always. Bane. Again. Several years have passed quietly since our forces returned from the Shadowlands, but it seems that quiet is now at an end, my love. Indeed. We were fortunate to have even a brief respite from the usual perils and tribulations. Otherwise, you might have come up with an excuse to refuse my proposal. Your proposal? I am quite certain it was I who begged for your hand in marriage, Thalysra. Lord Thamar Theron, you are such a creature of duty that you would have delayed our wedding over a crooked painting in Silver Moon. How fortunate I am that both our kingdoms witnessed our vows, else you might try to deny that we ever exchanged them. Deny the happiest moments of my life? Never. Whether under the light of the sun or the rays of the moon, I will love you for all my days, Thalysra. As I will love you, no matter how many dragons try to distract us. You can have anything.